That's cool. Damn. I'm I'm surprised I actually figured that out. <laughs> uh, it's weird that it has that noise though. It's like supposed to tip you off when something's there, I guess. Other than the messages, red tight night chunk. But I wonder what that noise actually is. Is that it? Nope. Oops. All right. How do we get up there? Do I have to jump through one of those windows? Probably. Head back up. Uh. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. How do we get there? Is there? There's like a door right there. Something. Round. Oh, down here. No. Up there. How the fuck do we get there? Can you jump down? No. Ladder? This just goes down to the bottom. Okay, let's go back where we opened up that illusory wall. I don't... Honestly, I don't see, like, a way you can jump. Down. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Stealing me. Oops. I don't even know why I'm blocking. It's just cool. Like, so that's something I always... Oh, this is my mech. Okay. Uh, that's something I always loved. Dark Souls was blocking with your weapon and, like, not using a shield. I always thought that was, like, aesthetically very cool. It's not super viable a lot. You kind of have to, like make it work mentally a little bit <laughs> you have to like accept that it's not super viable but one thing i would like to do in elden ring probably on the playthrough i do for that hopefully on stream will be uh doing some kind of build around that because you have to guard counters in elden ring which are actually super strong um kind of make that a little more viable in terms of the damage you take and stability i don't think it's too much different but we i want to try that Hey, I mean, you can just use a shield for card breaks, too. Or card counters, but... We like to be aesthetic. Alright. Okay, that did not hit twice. I like it when we can kill those guys without even fighting them. <laughs> Crest key! I think I know where this goes. We were looking for a key earlier. The grooves of the crest are enchanted. Uh, bent crest key. The grooves of the crest are enchanted. The door is sealed with a powerful spell. Uh, I'm assuming that's going to be the way to go. I'm, I'm never going to like. I'm never just going to be okay with saying it wrong because I know I'm saying it wrong, but I just don't know. Oh, hello. <laughs> maybe he'll maybe he'll uh, tell us the name. Uh, I think that's the way to. That's the key we need, I mean. Looks like this is the end of that building. I think we got everything. So, not much left before our shortcut back to the bonfire and to where Gauth is, so we can test that key up. Who is this? Oh, just a person. Okay. I always do want to summon in Dark Souls, because I used to do it a lot. Like, when I haven't played it in a while, I definitely want to, like, experience the game's challenge, and, like, also... I want to, like, stop and look around. It doesn't really work well when you know, someone uh, going and killing all the enemies for you. <laughs> it's fun for bosses sometimes, though. Okay. I'm trying to think of what I want to level now, I guess. Well, probably dex, actually, because our sword does also scale off dex and not just humanity. So. Uh, let's see if this lady has anything else to say now. I, I think she's going to have more. 
Are you human? I am here to pay, please. Okay. Guess not. Oh, we you know we fought uh Chester is his name, right? So let's go see if he has just disappeared completely or if he's no no he's still there. What's he gonna say? He's gonna be like I'm gonna be like, what the fuck, dude? Oh you you have quite some nerve. Or are you just thick? Fine then. What is it that you need? Yeah, I'm thick as fuck. Well, you've quite the nerve. I've had enough of you. <laughs> He's had enough of us. And we have the nerve. He's the one who attacked us and we literally were defending ourselves, right? This dude. What a douche. <laughs> I still love him. Well. Okay, I guess he has nothing else I'll to say. I'll be seeing you. Yeah, there's actually more to his quest than I thought, because like I said, the, the other character that I can think of that kind of preludes the next game or whatever is the Eastern guy in Bloodborne's DLC. And he does nothing but rant some crazy shit while he beats his head against a wall. So, I didn't expect this guy to have so much going back to him. Alright. And then I know Siren, the girl down there, does have... I just have to... Either wait or look it up. I'm not sure. Aha! It was the right key. We got another giant boy. He's carving the stones that we found. Hello. <laughs> Actually, did he look at us? Or is that just like his... I want to make sure. Nah. Very good. He, he doesn't give a fuck. Mm. A visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. An old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. And here I am, retired and blind. So little help to thee, I'm afraid. If thou seeketh to explore this domain, be wary of a black dragon. I fear thee no match for this terrible beast. So we've met that black dragon before, with the red, the orange eye. There's very little to be said. What good is a dog with no hands to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. Me? What good is it that I'm lucky? I love his voice actor. He has very deep, enjoyable voice to listen to. And he's another giant who, uh. who kind of just doesn't really want to talk. <laughs> like, yeah, you can talk. Oh, these only cost five. Hello and thank you. That's probably all of them. Let's buy one of those for fun, I guess. <laughs> uh, I thought he was a blacksmith. I might just be thinking of the one in Anor Lando. I guess he's not. He does have great arrows. Named after himself. Great arrow used by Hawkeye Goth. Huh? One of Lord Gwyn's four knights for dragon slaying. Requires great bow. Goff personally crafted each stone tip and wraps the shaft tightly with tree bark. Shaft. Uh, so he's one of Gwyn's four knights. He, uh, so we've actually met all of them now. Let's see, that's it. Okay. Um,. Yeah, so we've met every single one, because uh, it mentioned it pretty early on, when I think we bring out, like, the, the wolf ring or whatever. What is it called? Wolf ring. Oh, it's literally called the wolf ring. <laughs> I remembered it had a wolf on it. One of the special rings granted to the four knights of Gwyn. The wolf ring belongs to Artorias the Abyss uh, And then the Hornet ring. One of the special rings granted to the four knights of Gwyn. The Hornet ring belonged to the Lord's Blade, Siren. 
by boosting critical attack. Yeah, okay, that's just effect. Uh, so, Siren is the girl downstairs who is mourning. This guy is Goff. He is a archer uh, and a badass. And then you have Artorias, of course. And then the fourth one is Ornstein, if I remember correctly. We fought a long time ago in in Orlando, along with Smo. Uh, Smo is not one of the four knights, but he is an executioner for Anna, Anna Orlando. So, oh yeah, we can see his big old bow right here. It's fucking huge. Uh, I think we'll get a little more of this, this kind of action in Dark Souls 3, but uh, but uh, we, we, we get some cool shit in this game too, so Let's talk to him one more time. Well, that comes again. Oh, what a strange one. Really? There's very little to be said. Same stuff. Farewell, human. Lead thy life as thou seest fit. He's depressed, you know? He's blind. Like, I don't know. He did say that, but uh, in case you missed it, he is super blind. Uh, from what exactly, I don't know. Maybe it's because he's wearing that fucking helmet. It seemingly has no holes in it. I'm surprised he can breathe. <laughs> but, uh, no, he, he's... Oh, hey, 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 I see a hole. Yeah. There's, like, the two little holes on, like, the nose area, which probably is his eyes, actually, so... That's cool. Um, yeah, he's a little depressed. He's not able to do his, his stuff, and he's sitting here, like... Kind of listening to Ulysil die, and probably just doesn't feel like he can do much about it. Uh, which is a little odd, because I wouldn't personally say that he can't do anything about it. <laughs> As we'll uh, see soon. Oh, there's an item. Soul of the Hero. Uh, so he said to stay away from the Black Dragon. So what What do we do, gamers? I think we, uh, I think we go find the Black Dragon. <laughs> That that's what the gamer, that's what the gamer do. Getting fucked by a dragon sounds fun. And he's a uh, he's super badass as we saw. So yeah, okay, you have nothing. <laughs> uh, Alamede is very cool. I love Calamite's design. Uh, so. We're gonna go look. We're gonna just take a look from the corner. He won't even see us. I'm sure it'll be fine. Do we have a ring of sacrifice? No. We don't. Okay. Uh, I don't remember exactly how this goes down. So I'm just trying to make sure I have something to keep me from losing all my humanity. And we have some puppers. Hello, puppers. Who's a good boy? Oh, excuse me. That's not how we get treats. I gotta be careful with that word. My dog might hear. <laughs> Bad puppers. Good time out. Yeah, there's some fucking dogs. I don't know why, but they have dogs. In this little ravine. Probably just scavenging. Oh, uh, we got some logs. Looks like this may have been, like, an area that was used. Uh, I'm kind of, like, wondering if these are, uh... Like, player deaths. Like, the curse... The uh, corpses in the base game. But just, like... Abyss. But I don't know, some are smaller than others, so I'm not even sure. Might just be, like, environment. Got any more dogs? Nope. Oh, there's two. Yeah, as long as you get your character into the air with that flip, it, uh... Or, like, like, just about jumping. I don't think... Hardly anything staggers you out of it, except for, like, huge attacks, I think. From, like, big boys. Good luck. Weakness giant. 